What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over YouTube keyword research so you can increase your views and create videos that people are actually looking for. So in this example, I'm going to show you how I come up with a list of content ideas specifically for LinkedIn ads. So I'm going to be creating some LinkedIn ads tutorials this year. So what I need to do is come up with a list of keywords and turn them into some different video content ideas that I can create. Now, first things first, where did I come up with LinkedIn ads? Now, I know LinkedIn ads very well because I run advertisements on LinkedIn for clients, but the way I start coming up with short tail keywords like LinkedIn ads before I start expanding it to different long tail keywords is by using the Google Keyword Planner. And what you wanna do is open the Google Keyword Planner that's available through Google Ads. If you have a Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings, go to Planning and click on Keyword Planner and it will open this page. If you don't have a Google Ads account, you can create one completely free and use the Keyword Planner completely free as well. So we want to click on discover new keywords and what you want to do is enter the different keywords here based on whatever it is your YouTube channel is covering. So what your niche is on YouTube, this is where you need to enter a bunch of different keywords and I would keep your keywords very short here and not very specific so you can come up with some short tail keywords to create content about. So for my channel, Surfside PPC, what I've done is I've added all these different keywords here, paid advertising, PPC advertising, PPC ad channels, ads, advertising, SEM for search engine marketing. I could just enter PPC as well. So enter up to 10 keywords here and I have social media ads, paid ads, and click on get results. This is gonna give you a huge list of short tail keywords to get started with. And you're also gonna see you can broaden your search with some of these other popular keywords as well. As I scroll down here, you can see over 4,200 different keyword ideas. I like to go by average monthly searches so we can see what are the things people are searching the most. So Google Ads, obviously very popular, Google AdSense. If we keep scrolling down, you're gonna start seeing things like Facebook ads, we have product listing ads. So these are all different short tail keywords that I know I can cover with my YouTube video content to actually increase viewership on my channel. So TikTok ads, obviously that's become very popular. If we keep coming down here, you're gonna see a lot of different ideas. YouTube ads, Bing ads, Microsoft ads. Keep coming down, we see Instagram ads here, we have Twitter ads, and we have a LinkedIn ads here. So this is kind of how I come up with some of these different keywords that I'm targeting within my own YouTube channel. So once I have this short tail keyword LinkedIn ads, the next thing I wanna do is we're gonna open up some way to save all of these different keyword and content ideas, which I like to just use Microsoft Excel. Very easy to get started. We can just create our own sheet. You could do it in an existing plan that you've already created where you have a list of keywords and content ideas that you know you wanna create this year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here in Microsoft Excel. You could literally use Notepad if you want to. You can use anything you want, Google Sheets, it could be Microsoft Word, however you like to keep your ideas. So we're gonna start here in Microsoft Excel and we're gonna do keyword. So my first keyword is gonna be the short tail keyword, LinkedIn ads. We have a column for content idea and then once we create our video, we'll put our video URL there. So we're just trying to keep ourselves a little bit organized with what content we're creating on our channel. So we start with our short tail keyword LinkedIn ads and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come over here to YouTube. So we have Keyword Planner open here. Let's open up YouTube. We're gonna search our actual keyword. So I'm searching my keyword LinkedIn ads, but what you wanna do is when you're typing in your keyword, we're gonna use autocomplete. So by using autocomplete, we can see the very top keywords that people are searching on YouTube for our short tail keyword. So LinkedIn ads, tutorial for beginners, cost, campaign, lead generation, conversion tracking, account, strategy. Now something like for lead generation, same exact keyword to me as lead generation 2022. LinkedIn ads 2023, I would put again with a tutorial for beginners. So I'm gonna make sure I have everything for the current year because I try to create new videos every year because things change so often. LinkedIn ads versus Facebook ads, strategy, course for real estate. Now you may have some ideas here where you, or some different keywords here where you don't really have any type of video that you can create for that. For example, LinkedIn ads for real estate. I've never ran real estate focused ads on LinkedIn. So that's probably not a video I'm gonna create. But what I'd like to do is get started with these keywords that I have here and we're gonna put them here into Microsoft Excel. So that's what I'm gonna do first is enter all my keywords here in Microsoft Excel. Okay, fast forwarding a little bit, you can see I've taken all of these different keywords. So now I have a list of some different long tail keywords that I can create content about. And when we come up over here with our content idea, they're pretty much all gonna be geared towards some of these different keywords we have here. So LinkedIn ads lead generation, best practices to generate leads in 2023. LinkedIn ads conversion tracking, 
how to set up conversions in your LinkedIn ads account. So that's all we really need to do as we start coming up with content idea, but I just wanna focus on keyword research for this video. Now there may be certain things like LinkedIn ads versus Facebook ads. I'll put this here. This may be a video I never create. Just because I don't see a ton of value in this type of video, I'd rather create specific tutorials than do some type of comparison video. So that just depends on what types of videos you create on your channel as you're coming up with your keyword ideas. The next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna download Keywords Everywhere. So you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want, but KeywordsEverywhere.com has a completely free plugin for Chrome and Firefox. They also do have paid plans as well. You don't need to upgrade to the paid plan if you don't want to. I'm not using the paid plan at all, and I'm not using the paid plan in this video. So I installed this for Chrome. It's an easy to install plugin on Chrome. And the reason why I like Keywords Everywhere so much is when you do a search in YouTube, and I'm using a different example here for affiliate marketing because they have some more ideas. What you can see is they have search insights. So they have ranking difficulty, the specific search term that we're looking at, the top channel, maximum views, average views, average age. You're gonna see a, a lot of different statistics here at the top. The YouTube trend for affiliate marketing. So you can see right now it's at its highest it's ever been. Keep coming down the most used tags. Affiliate marketing for beginners, how to start affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing 2023. So you can find a ton of different keyword ideas just by seeing the tags that people are actually using for their videos. Keep scrolling down, related keywords. So very similar to some of the tags here, but affiliate marketing on Pinterest, ClickBank affiliate marketing. These are all different video ideas that you can easily create on your channel, especially if you're someone who does affiliate marketing every single day. Keep coming down, you have three different related searches and three different common video tags. So you can get a ton of different ideas from keywords everywhere. And you can see here, I have LinkedIn ads searched here. As we scroll down, they have some different most used tags here as well. This didn't pop up before, but now we have some most used tags for some of the different videos here. Keep scrolling down, same thing, three different related searches, three different common video tags. So we can get a bunch of different ideas just by installing keywords everywhere. And one of my favorite features of Keywords Everywhere is if we click Find YouTube Keywords for LinkedIn Ads, it's gonna open up a brand new page. Again, this is all gonna be completely free for you. And it's gonna find a ton of different YouTube keywords for LinkedIn Ads. So this is specific to the YouTube search engine. We're 10% complete, we have over 140 keywords. Scroll down, what it's gonna start with are those top keywords that we saw in YouTube autocomplete as we search for LinkedIn ads. So we scroll down here, you're gonna see the top keywords here up until we get to for real estate. Now, as we keep coming down here, how to run LinkedIn ads for a client, A-B testing LinkedIn ads, and there's gonna be so many different keywords here. Now they're in alphabetical order as you start getting past this first set of the autocomplete keywords. So if you do want to actually see search volume, this is where you would have to upgrade your keywords everywhere plan, but different things, LinkedIn ads, audience targeting, we keep scrolling down, LinkedIn ads, B2B, LinkedIn ads, best practices, bidding strategy, brand awareness, budget. So you're gonna find a ton of different keywords here that you can easily target within your YouTube videos. So this is the very first step that I would take, and you can see we have 339 total keywords right now related to LinkedIn ads. So generally what I'll do, and I'm not gonna be doing this completely in this video, we have 340 keywords. I would download this to a CSV file, or you can copy this. So copy all 340 rows, come over here to Microsoft Excel and paste all 340 rows. Then what I generally do is I go through each of these keywords and things like audience, I'll bold, advanced, I'll bold, A-B testing, audit so you try to find some of these different keywords where you say okay i could easily create a video about some of these different topics we're not even worried about overall search volume for these different keywords what all we're trying to do is find keywords where we can say okay i can create a video about five linkedin ads best practices i can create a video about the different linkedin ads bidding strategies and the best one to use for each campaign type i can create a video about linkedin ads brand awareness so we'll just scroll all the way down here keep coming down LinkedIn ad leads, again, I would, I would consider that same as lead generation, which we already have as one of our keywords. So keep in mind, there's gonna be a ton of different crossover here. But if you keep coming down, LinkedIn message ads, LinkedIn YouTube ad, running ads on LinkedIn, what you can do is come through here, just put a bunch of keywords in bold, and then the keywords that you don't bold, just take those keywords and just delete them. So you just delete them, get rid of them, 
and then those are keywords that you're not going to actually target with your videos so we'll put these keywords back because some of these might actually be decent keywords for a quick video now what I start doing is I start eliminating keywords that I'm already targeting or eliminating keywords that I just don't have a video content idea for so that's one of the most important things as you're going through your keyword research you don't just want to find a random keyword for example let's just say something like LinkedIn ads drop shipping down here I'm not gonna have a good example for a video about this keyword so we'll just get rid of it altogether LinkedIn ads design again not something that I'm gonna target with any of my videos so as you go through this and you see some of these different keywords here get rid of the keywords that just are not gonna be relevant to your channel or for any type of video that you would create now back over here to keywords everywhere the other thing that I like about keywords everywhere is if we just go directly to Google now once you install keywords everywhere it's gonna show all of this information automatically in a bunch of different search engines including Google and YouTube so if I enter something like LinkedIn ads cost I'm creating a video for how much LinkedIn ads cost I want to go over every single thing people have questions about or any type of concern people have LinkedIn ads cost same thing with keywords everywhere we scroll down here they're gonna give us a bunch of different related keywords so cost per click budget calculator message ads cost CPM cost minimum budget for LinkedIn ads average CPC LinkedIn average cost per follower LinkedIn these are almost all completely different keywords and they could come up they could basically be the video chapters for the video we create about LinkedIn ads costs so we know we're covering every single question people have they also have people also search for which sometimes is very similar to the related keywords and then we have long tail keywords so as we go through long tail keywords here you can find a ton of different ideas through the long tail keywords like LinkedIn video ads cost text ads cost how much do LinkedIn ads cost in 2023 these are all different ideas that were will all be just part of this one video about LinkedIn ads costs so this is why I really like keywords everywhere they give you a ton of different long tail keywords whether you're just on YouTube and you're looking on the right hand side here you're gonna see a ton of different tags whether you click on find YouTube keywords for LinkedIn ads but I really like the long tail keywords feature for Google because a lot of times what people are searching in Google is gonna be pretty similar to what people are searching on YouTube as well now the next thing that I like to do is if we're over here again in YouTube one of the free plugins that I use it has a paid option as well is TubeBuddy. so if you go to TubeBuddy.com, you can see optimize your YouTube channel faster install free now so they have a Chrome extension so if you install the Chrome extension and connect your YouTube channel and we come over here and we have they're gonna have details here so right now I'm viewing the details you can choose to hide the details if you want but if we scroll down we can actually see the specific tags that some of these different creators are using for their video so we can see when someone's creating a LinkedIn ads tutorial what are the tags that they're using If we come down here again another complete tutorial so he does very well here for the LinkedIn ads keyword keep coming down we have another tutorial LinkedIn ads for beginners one year ago so some of these different tags here as well and what you can find with some of the different tags is okay this is what people are looking for specifically or these are some different tags that can help me come up with some different video ideas so something like LinkedIn ads 2022 for B2B lead generation LinkedIn B2B LinkedIn lead gen 2022 advertising 2022 so these keywords are all geared towards 2022 and specifically what the video is about so you can find a ton of different ideas for tags and you can copy these tags as well and create a huge long running list of tags that other creators are actually using and you can do that all by just using TubeBuddy, which is completely free here and seeing all of those different ideas now one last thing about keywords everywhere is they're also going to give you this information right here so how many subscribers a channel has how many views per day a specific video is getting so if you're creating videos about a specific topic and you see the very top results here the views per day is something very very small it may be a topic that's not worth creating a video about for your channel something like 206 views per day to me that's plenty of views for a single video to get every day so I have no problem creating a LinkedIn ads tutorial and hopefully I can get some of those views as well now last but not least for the Google keyword planner we want to con continue coming up with our content ideas we have a bunch of keywords bolded down here but we want to find some more ideas and we want to focus on search volume that's where we come back over to the Google keyword planner again so we're gonna get rid of all these different keywords here 
and we're going to enter our main keyword now just LinkedIn ads so we're going to do LinkedIn ads you could do LinkedIn advertising oh, let's make sure we enter that first keyword okay so I have LinkedIn ads LinkedIn advertising LinkedIn ad click on get results so this has given us 599 keyword ideas more than enough keyword ideas that are going to be all long tail keywords related to our LinkedIn ads the other thing I like doing is seeing the search volume for some of these different keywords like YouTube ads versus YouTube advertising Google ads versus Google AdWords as they made the name switch so you can see what people are actually searching here but what I like to do is add filters we're going to say keyword text must contain ads ad or advertising so I want to keep it really focused to LinkedIn ads or advertising click on apply and what you're going to see here is we have the most popular keywords by average monthly searches 405 out of the 599 keywords and basically what I'll do is I'll just take keywords like LinkedIn conversation ads, carousel ads, LinkedIn ad types, come over here and just paste some of these different keywords here. So we have conversation ads, we'll come back over here to the keyword planner, we'll copy carousel ads, and you just wanna keep on doing this and keep adding more and more keywords directly to wherever you are planning to save all of these different keywords and coming up with all of your different content ideas. So as we keep coming over here, I have ad types, we have cost again here, video ads, so one of the things I can do is create a video about LinkedIn conversation ads, video about LinkedIn carousel ads, video about LinkedIn video ads, and then I can combine all of those videos into a video about the different LinkedIn ad types people can use and basically just piece together these videos I've already created. Now the other thing you're going to see is don't get too caught up in the exact average monthly searches you're seeing because the way the Google Keyword Planner works is something like LinkedIn ads cost and LinkedIn advertising costs are viewed as the same exact keyword when people are typing them in. So they're gonna have things like LinkedIn ads pricing, price of LinkedIn ads, how much do LinkedIn ads cost? So don't get too caught up in, okay, specifically 390 searches are made per month about this keyword because people may have thousands of searches a month about a specific topic. As you scroll down here, even something like LinkedIn conversation ads, they may end up just doing the same exact, so here, conversation ads LinkedIn, same exact keyword. If you switch the order of the words, it doesn't change at all what the keyword is. So don't get too caught up on average monthly searches. Just come through here, find keywords that make sense for your channel. For example, I have things like LinkedIn text ads, messaging ads, document ads. I can take all of these different keywords and we're gonna continue to put these all on our keyword list. Once you have your whole keyword list put together, that's when you start coming up with content ideas. Once you have your content ideas, it becomes much easier to say, okay, let's go into LinkedIn ads. Let's make sure we're creating different campaigns using all of these different advertising types. We're covering all of our bases for all these different keywords that we wanna cover with our actual video content on YouTube. And I can spend a month and say, I'm gonna create 30 different LinkedIn ads videos this month. And then at the very end, we piece together all those videos and we have our LinkedIn ads course. So this is basically my strategy for keyword research, content creation on YouTube, and it has helped me drive a lot of views to my video channel. Even at times with me not creating videos for extended periods of time, I still get plenty of views on my channel all the time. And a lot of it just comes down to keyword research and creating videos that people are actually looking for. Now, the next piece is creating really good videos, which I'm not sure if I do that either, but here is how I come up with different keyword ideas for my YouTube channel, starting with the Google Keyword Planner to find short tail keywords, using some of these other tools like Keywords Everywhere to find long tail keywords, like YouTube Autocomplete to find long tail keywords. I can even just take LinkedIn ad and I get a bunch more keywords here. Stick with these ones more towards the top because these are gonna be the ones that people are actually searching for the most. So. If you're creating content around all these really popular keywords, you're gonna find that your channel is gonna grow its viewership by way more than you can imagine. So focus on your YouTube keywords, focus on creating great relevant content for your keywords, and you're gonna have no problem driving views for your channel. Hopefully this was helpful. We could easily come up with a list of 30 different keyword ideas. I can spend a whole month creating LinkedIn ads videos, and it's gonna help grow my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.